Finish him like oh. in a Rocky movie <laughs> as opposed to stop playing. It's like KO, but that's <laughs> fine. Was he that's dangling fine. around? You just oh, hit it man. last time. Bosh. Mr. Pete, Mr. Lee. I have been waiting for the thick end of a year, I think, to it's tell everybody what? about these cool guitars. Mm -hmm. um, and and in a in like a great minds think alike Vulcan mind merge. <laughs> Last year, uh, or a year before, I can't remember when it was last year that Fender announced that they were discontinuing Road Worn. Yes, correct. And almost immediately we went to Fender and we just went, oh, please, 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 can we do a, like a special run Road Worn thing? We've got some ideas like that. And they went, yeah, no problem like that. And then the closer it got to it, Fender were like, well, actually, we've got some like Road Worn things coming as well. And so could you just hold off from announcing yours until we've announced ours? It's got to be a part of something okay. else and all that stuff, yeah. Anyway, so we've given, you know, Fender have had their little 15 minutes in the sunshine to tell you about the um, kind of Vintera road warny stuff that they've done. And yeah. now I think it's time to tell you about what we've done. Yeah, this is super cool. I mean, we doing the FSR range, it's just cool. And now that we can actually do something that's more affordable, so you don't have to pay four grand for a, for a custom shop strat, and you've still got Relic stuff, it's just... Awesome, because the Ventera are awesome guitars yes. for the money, no questions asked. So th this is and beneath, underneath the bonnet, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, this is a it. Ventera Road one, <laughs> based on a, a '60s Strat and a, and a '50s Tele. So we've got all the kind of features, I guess, that you would expect to get on Ventera. So you've got the sort of period correct uh, radius on the fretboard. Um, you've got this Seven kind of quarter. Uh, beautiful older bodies. Um, you've but then, then of course, we apply the road worn finish. So this is a this is a thin nitrocellulose finish. Okay, so it's not the polyurethane that you perhaps get on um, even on American guitars that are more money than this. So yeah, you've got nitro finish, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. thin skin. So you get you know you get a little bit of uh, the, the sort of the relicking and the, the, yeah. the that makes it road worn. But this is where it gets super cool. <laughs> so the pickups in our strats are from one of our favourite guitars of. of uh, Yesteryear. Yesteryear, good, good <laughs> shout. These are American vintage 59, 
a set of American vintage 59 pickups. Yeah. So what's that? 180 quid's worth of pickups yeah, about, on the, on the Fender website. Sort of so proper American staggered vintage pickups, just like you would have got on a 59 strap. That's cool. The colors are unique to our range of uh, FSRs. So yeah. uh, we have faded candy red, which is yeah. awesome. We have Daphne blue and we have this epic, this I don't know, that Ingve Malmsteen looking kind of, it's it's actually called vintage, uh, vintage white, yeah. but it might as well be called yellow. Yeah, it's like it kind of is. Faded yellow. It's so, this guitar is so cool. Yeah, we've got these beautiful kind of parchment, minty parchment guards. Yeah. Um, Gig bags included in the price. Yeah, and satin um, finished neck, so the the lacquer is slightly worn off here. So I I I I would stay there to say when you play this for six months to a year, you'll start to put your own wear on it because the lacquer will start going. You'll see that completely wet, worn off here on the neck. Um, but I mean, that's now, a great guitar. How cool is this though, as well? Not only are these guitars wicked. And not only are these not that different in price, they're a little bit dearer, but maybe only 50 bucks, something like that. Yeah. Not that different in price to regular Roadworn um, Vintera. Uh, and of course, the regular Roadworn Vintera just have the stock Vintera pickups in them. We have American upgraded pickups in these. Not only that, but these are, uh, we only made 50 of each of these colors. I say we, Fender only made 50 yeah. of each of these colors. So 50 we went red, to make 50 them blue, ourselves. 50 white. And uh, we, because Andersons had kind of done this before we'd really started working with Chicago Music Exchange on something, on other models, um, uh, Chicago Music Exchange did decide to take some. So I haven't got loads. Chicago have got 10 of each color and Andersons have got the other 40 of each color. So yeah. like super limited. Yeah. And even if we did want to do another run of these, which half of me thinks we almost we certainly will. Well, should we? Um, it's yeah, limited. or maybe different colors, but even Depends if we did, lead times on these are bonkers long, yeah. so it'd be at least a year before we could get anything else. Pete, before we talk about everyone's going, never mind this chance, tell me about the... We'll come yeah, to yeah. this in yeah. a minute. But yeah, yeah, can we yeah. do tones? Yeah, we just, can, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's a Strat. It'll sound like a Strat, I guess. I what guess do you think? I mean, the will. DP40, uh, which is a mid-sized, a mid-priced sort of amp, isn't it? Maybe it's a, a British-built 40-watt clean-sounding yeah. clean amp. Clean-sounding amp, and on the neck pickup. It's fat. Just fat, nice. Like you would think. Vintage sparkle as well. The lovely, I like it. Yeah, it's great. It's, this is great. And here's the classic uh, position four, because this is actually position one. Position four, these two together. And that's where you, you know, you get your. Your rakes. That's that classic tone. Sounds great. Uh, the middle position, let's not forget, one of the cool position on a, on a strap. Oh, it's nice. Uh... No pickups at all. Uh, no no pickups at all. No pickups. It's amazing at all. this guitar. It's, it's a great in, value. It has no pickups. Uh, <laughs> invisible. Invisible no, pickups. No strings. No strings. No pickups. No neck on it as well. So and here's the position two. Classic, right? And it's got a trim system, of course, but uh, there was no arm um, on this one. So <laughs> here's the, there is there is an there arm is with all of them. An arm, but but uh, we, we've got uh, yes, Pete and I had an argument beforehand, like lovers <laughs> often do, 
um, <laughs> where <laughs> Pete decided that, you know, nobody puts a trim arm in a strat, you know, and then he made some derogatory comments about people that do, and I stuck up for us. <laughs> I said, well, I put, Who, okay. know, I put a trim arm in, and it's I like... Th- I tell, because uh, probably because I'm more of a telly man, I like my strats to be flush with the body, and I like the this. Who can we just have a little discussion? So I, in the I said Jeff section? Beck, and I won. That was it. He had no comeback. Did no, you? there was no comeback. There was no comeback because Jeff Beck. Like, is there anyone yeah. better? He on plays a, a similar colour to this, doesn't he? One of his guitars is a little bit whiter, I think. But yes, I think you're probably right. Yeah. I mean, yes. Okay, Jeff Beck. Okay, fine. So that's it. Fine. The argument was over. Repeat had to go back in his box. Yeah. That was it. The end. <laughs> like I do every at six o'clock every night, and Lee puts me back in my box <laughs> in the basement. And I'm like the sun hits me in the morning, <gasps> gets me up, <laughs> gets me up. So here's the uh, here's the um, bridge position. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <Bongo. So>, I mean, it's just, oh. it's just that position. I'm... Okay, so we've got the modern wiring in yep. here, uh, where normally you would, this wouldn't. That's a good question, actually. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, I don't, I don't. So you I'm, can. I'm guessing that, I love must that. Ha- that must be how Vinteras are. Yeah, that I, must just be how I think we also wired. asked to have that in Did there. We? Yeah, because 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 such that, a long time ago. It is such a long time, but I seem to remember something about having that extra feature. So when you are on the back pickup, this would be quite spiky, especially when you put a bit of gain on. It sounds great though, but you just roll off the tone a bit. <laughs> You get a little bit less of that top yep. end, like half. If full up, it, it's, it can be quite spiky. So let's just try the pickups again. So that was the back pickup with a bit of Dane on it. With the gain on 12 on the Dane. Sounds great. Uh, position two. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so this is that sort of Stevie Ray tone, uh, the second position that there was a video of Paul Davis playing that scuttlebotting, uh, you know. I mean, I, I can't play that stuff big, but because he bend it. I wish I couldn't play as well as Most, you can't play. <laughs> Because I remember sitting down and listening to to Paul explaining it. He explained it so well, and he slowed the video down. And he figured out that actually, Stevie Ray was playing it on the album. He would play like he would playing with the bend, like that. Mm-hmm. But live he would play. So everybody's playing it. You know, and he was playing that later on because he would he would play so many times with th- gates 13 on it. You have to tune it out to E flat because then it sounds real, right? Mm-hmm. But he would play that with 13s on it. So at the end of it, he was like, it, I, it's I just t- probably just it's, because he would ruin just... his fingers, you know, it, you know. But it is that, that that's the tone anyway. That. <laughs> those little um Ooh. he had his own little custom made dumbbells didn't he like literally on each finger like that and he every Did day he? no i just made that <laughs> <laughs> i've got that in my car do you remember those things those master grid things he had, like, literally he was bench pressing <laughs> hanging, 200 like, kilos like that just with his third finger like they were that, hanging off like, like that <laughs> me, 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 me. and then next one oh man I, you got me Come there on. you got me there middle pickup what's uh, that good for middle pickup with gain <laughs> It's good for that kind of. (laughs) I do like the middle pickup. It's just a great song. And then you've got the position four, which is the middle and the the neck. Right. 
guitar. It is a great sounding guitar, and I play strats too little. I play strats in not. We had this conversation before. Strats, Pete's yeah. like, I'm selling some guitars. Yeah. Uh, what do I buy next? Do I buy Custom Shop 335 that we fall in love with recently, yeah. or have I just got to go and get a strat? And we talked about it, and it's like, I've just said, let's just. You, you you play so many great guitars. I know. Just wait for the one. Yeah. Wait for the one. But man. I want something. Uh, this is we always talk about that. Is it? I want something custom shop. I yes, want of the, I do. want the next one. Uh, this is this guitar is amazing for what is it? Grand and a half or something? No, like nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. What? It's literally it's it's I, it's no. priced literally. You know the same thousand pounds. Basically the same as having to phone the police or an ambulance. <laughs> Basically, that's that's the idea. I only call one 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 these days. That's all I call because they go stop calling us, Pete. Nine nine nine. It's not for I've lost my shoelace again <laughs> or whatever. You know, <laughs> I, I don't know how to turn this on. It's not nine nine nine, Pete. Stop calling us. So uh, they blocked me. So here's the next position. position. One. I want to play E when I play on a Strat because it's got the So there this we go. Look, I mean, so, good, so all three strats That's have making got the me same, sweat. you know, the same guitar, Ooh. just different colours. Um, the cool kind of, I guess, kind of cool thing. Um, so one of the ways wow. that, that Fender kind of do the road worn. Holy so, moly. so at custom shop level, it's very unlikely that you'll ever see two relics the same. And so on the Andersons website, when we get custom shop guitars through, we'll photograph each individual one so that you can pick the one that you like the relicking on. Yeah. On road worn. I mean, look here. They relic to a to a template, so essentially um, you I mean, can I guess, see you can see it here. Look at look at the, look at this bit. Yeah, there's the, the same ding and, and then here like a similar ding on here. Yeah, so yeah. you Certainly might here, you might get and the, minute differences in the way the relicking is, but basically, so so these these we don't photograph on our website, so you'll see a, like a stock uh, photo, and then you'll get you know a, a brand new boxed one sent to you. But they're just stellar. All three of these guitars, yeah. Pete and I unboxed this morning. We tuned them up. They're the, they're the Fender strings that come on them. They're the yeah. setup that came with them. Yeah. Um, I mean, what can I say? They're, they're just stellar. And um, honestly, nine nine nine, nine nine nine, nine nine, you get this one guitar. pound to buy some candy floss. Yeah. Or something. I mean, when you think that, when you think that, let's just go through the American range. You've got the mm. first nitro guitars that you can buy when you go up to American is American Original, which will have That's true, kind yeah. of a similar set of pickups onto yeah. these uh, and those are 1600 1700 yeah. pounds like that so it's great great value yeah. and, the, and the custom shop versions that you know kind of we do a lot of of this thing are 3500 yeah. 4000 something like that so it's a quarter of the price and here's a little thing why wow. i spoke i saw did you see Rupert the other day he took a picture of his prs paul guitar right put it on the chair took a lovely picture oh that's really nice it fell off the chair. No, I didn't know that. And he nicked a massive bit off the no, back here. No, I didn't know that. And he's going, that. oh man, I hate it. He, he was like, this is what happens when you've got a really beautiful guitar, right? Or a brand new guitar. For me, personally, I get why people like nice guitars and it looks great and I get it. But these guitars, if you get a ding in this, it doesn't matter. If you want a guitar to take out and use and play, this I could tour this guitar and put something else to the side and just have this and I, I couldn't get, care who Dip, tipped it over or get a ding well, the, in it or whatever happened to it or you spill a beer on it the, the, that's I, what this I, is yeah man. i mean the, there's there's definitely you know? I and mean, it I, feels I like, played it feels played in it feels lifting yeah, i like really i Listen. like the way relic guitars look and feel it's my kind of you know i love i love that sort of vibe yeah. but i do agree that there's that psychological i do approach playing a beaten up guitar differently to a brand new yeah. one so let's talk about this um Pete intentionally said, can you play the telly Lee? Because I play purple stuff all, all the time. <laughs> yeah. So I said, oh, for sure. <laughs> so you know that we uh, have this love affair with this um, no caster um, yep. purple telly that Pete bought from the custom shop a few years ago. And we kind of, we tried to, to, to replicate it a little bit, uh, maybe a year and a half ago, there was basically just, we just did a road worn in this kind of faded purple metallic kind of finish. 
and it was super super popular but when we start when we were talking about doing these strats and we thought okay can we take this to like a like a level it up again yeah um so what we've done with this again is we've got the same purple faded metallic uh, it comes out on road one you'll you'll notice um the the uh road worn purple that they use a little bit lighter than the purple that's on pete's telly but you, yeah. it's like that kind of faded vibe it's got a tiny yeah. bit of the metallic in it um we've got the brass you know vintage style bridge we've got the chunky um maple neck yeah. and board not, not super chunky but it's more Quite, of a... It's similar to your tailor, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's very similar. It's actually um, yeah, scary it's, similar. It's, so it's not like a 60s C anymore. It's deeper than that. It's chunkier yeah. than that. Um, with the 7.25 inch radius. So again, uh, period correct. But here's the upgrade. This is the kick. Okay. Right um, in the sack. <laughs> we didn't just go... So we didn't go like upgraded Mexican here. No. We didn't just go normal American here. We went custom shop no uh custom shop no caster pickup here yeah. so this is the same pickup that's basically on the custom shop guitar if you that buy it yeah. and then this one is a twisted telly so again it's the it's difference of interior it's this it, but they do do like a, a mexican twisted telly yeah. effect which is just the same just as wound in, in mexico um, instead it'll so, be exactly the same which has got that p90 fat see It's just, it's, it sounds great. So there you go. That was the break, the neck pickup. Sorry. Yeah. So you got all the stuff that, that makes a Telecaster a Telecaster with the string through body, the uh, big brass saddles, and of course the the, the a custom shop. At no cast to pick up. So, with a little bit of gain from my Greer light speed. <laughs> Again, I'm so so feels lovely. That. Blown away by what what these how these guitars have come out. I mean, it's just. I 
I mean, what is right. there not? So there's quite a difference though between the, 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 the Strats and the Tellys, and even that I like. The, the fact that the necks are noticeably chunkier on the Telly. Yeah, it's, it's proper. A much different, a very different sound, a much different sound. You know, it's it's more ballsy. It's maybe not as it's not as stratty, is it? <laughs> it's more it's more Telly. That's really weird. Funnily isn't it? enough. Um, again, what have you got over there? Are, oh, sorry about that. Oh, well remembered, yes. So, comes with a parchment guard, but if you don't like that, we have ordered some of these. I mean, fun enough, we literally ordered these this morning. So this is a this is the gold guard that Pete sometimes puts on his American yeah, one and sometimes like to, um... doesn't. And uh, so we've ordered some of these as well. These will be an optional extra for you to sort of buy that and fit so yourself. Good, man. But yeah, what about... That makes it sound much better. Can you hear how much more golden and metallic more more golden. it sounds yeah, now? Yeah. Is there and nothing to say? These are only available from Andertons. We, um, much as we love the uh, Chicago Music Exchange <laughs> guys, we decided because of the sort of the affinity with the purple Telecaster and Andersons, and we thought we'd keep this one. So these are only available from Andersons, and we made a hundred of these. Yeah, that's so it. So that's it. 50 of these, 50 of these, 50 of these, and you can get them either from Anderson's or Chicago Music Exchange. You'll have to be quick if you want one from CME because they haven't got very many. Uh, and 100 of these, which you can only buy from Anderson's. But there we go. Yep. Joy. Yep. And I'm looking forward to, Joy. I think, next month showing you the first of the other way around where we've jumped on the back of a guitar that CME have uh, designed themselves from Gibson. I say design themselves, you know what I mean? Like they spec it up, they color it. It's not like a new shape or anything. Yeah. But they're very, so very cool. You might, have, actually they've been on our website for a while and yeah. we've pre-sold a lot of those, but we're hoping to get them next month. Follow so the video. I'm enjoying, I'm I'm enjoying this whole, uh, you know, transatlantic love convo that's going on. It's like, what do you think of this? We think of that. And then uh, they speak a bit differently as well, which is kind of cool. Anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Links below. Thank you for watching. Absolutely. Like and subscribe. Peace.